this part of Grimes Creek, we really focused on large woody debris. You need wood in a system for a creek to be healthy. And so we installed some root wads. They're buried back into the, root, the banks, 20 and 30 feet back, because we don't want those to pop up later and, and cause any problems. So they're anchored in just by the weight of the tree trunks buried into the stream bank. And as you can see, they're working pretty well. We have some really large pools being formed, again, from putting some complexity into the creek. We've got pools, we've got a place for bugs, macroinvertebrates to call home. Large woody debris is good on so many different fronts. It provides cover for fish, too, to hide underneath the root wads. That's typically we find a fish there within 24 hours. You build it, they come. The other thing that this site really shows off well is the sorting of the substrate. This used to be just solid rock cobble from bank to bank, no difference in the sizing of the material. It was just one big long glide. But when you add the complexity, it sorts things out. So you end up with areas of larger cobble, areas of sand, spawning size gravel, it all works its way out. In the creek we have some boulder structures and it's kind of a boulder garden that you might f observe on natural streams and it just creates a bunch of different complexities again, sorting of gravels, hiding places for fish, and it also takes a little bit of the pressure off of the bank as that's an outside bend that we also did some work on. So here's another example of plantings that we installed on Grimes Creek. And this site we call the High ter Terrace because it's up a little bit in elevation than some of the floodplains. However, it's perfect for these cottonwoods. Cottonwoods like to have a step up off the creek. So all of these cottonwoods are one year old and our success rate ended up to be around 97% on their survival so far. School kids put those in uh, a year and a half ago.